When you're around A2 or B1 level, reading a book in English can seem like a big challenge. And it is. I'm not gonna lie. To read English easily without a dictionary, you need to know 8,000 to 9,000 words. But what if your vocabulary is much, much smaller yet? Well, there is a way. Hey, my fellow English learner, you're watching Fluent English with Lady Giraffe. And today I'm gonna show you how to read native content when your vocabulary is small. But there is one tiny problem. Right now I'm reading books in English as easily as I would in my native language. And my vocabulary is pretty extensive. That's why I'm going to share my experience with reading books in Greek, another language I'm learning. Don't worry, the basic principles are exactly the same. My level is A2, pre-intermediate in Greek, and by now I've read around 25 children's books with my small vocabulary. I know the struggle. <laughs> So, the first really important step is to find the right book. I know you probably have something in mind. Maybe something you wanted to read for a long time. But that's not the best idea. We want to hit the sweet spot between enjoyment and readability. If a book has too many new words, you'll lose motivation to read pretty fast. But if the book is too boring, you'll be in danger of falling asleep every time you pick it up. What kind of stories do you enjoy? Think about it. What kind of movies do you like? Personally, I like fairy tales. If I see a book with dragons or magic in it, I'm instantly hooked. However, I also think about how easy it will be for me to read this book. So, how many new words is too much? Personally, I'm comfortable with around five completely new words on one page that I can't easily understand in context. I usually buy books with a large font and plenty of space to make notes. Pictures are also a big plus for me because they can help with comprehension. The easiest way to understand if a book is right for you is to read a page or two. Think about this. Can you get the gist, the main idea, while you're reading? Reading and looking up new words at the same time is such a chore. And in this way, you're not going to enjoy the book even a little bit. So what I like doing is to read a few pages or maybe a chapter without the dictionary first. And while I'm reading, I'm underlining words I don't understand with a pencil. After I finish, I take my phone, open the dictionary and start translating. You don't have to understand everything. Learn to guess the meaning of new words from context. When you're reading, don't focus too much attention on rare words. You don't need to know all these fancy adjectives that describe something like a forest, for example. Focus especially on the words and expressions that you come across again and again. I use two sticky page markers as my bookmarks. One to mark the place where I'm reading now, another to mark the place where I haven't made notes yet. Very convenient. I know exactly where I am all the time. I underline only some words I want to look up later. And you know, sometimes I don't even return to the words with the dictionary. 
If I can finish a book and understand what the story was about, I call it a win. When I'm reading, I concentrate on the story and the characters, not on the vocabulary. You may ask, do I ever reread the books with all my notes? And the answer is, yeah, sometimes. I used to read the same books again a few times because I didn't have a lot of them to choose from. Now, as my reading is getting better, I have a lot of books I want to read. So you can say that I focus more on the quantity, not the quality of reading. I don't actually consider this to be a bad thing. This is so much fun. And I don't study the words from my books. I just read, make notes, and then read some more. I trust the process. Reading more than 400 books in English improved my English so much. And now reading books in Greek does the same thing for my Greek. Ah, now I want to ask you, is reading a part of your learning routine or not? Do you read in English? If you want to learn more about the skill of guessing the words from context, check out this video next. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time with more awesome language content.